Hello, today I'm going to show you how to turn 360 degree panoramic photographs into spheres that you can insert into Adobe Arrow to create spheres that you can either look at as interesting objects or step inside, which is absolutely stunning. So I've got a image here and let's get going. The first thing we need to do is check image is large enough. So go to image, image size, and this one is clicking out at about 3,500 pixels by 1,000 resolution 72. So we just need to make sure that it's good enough for that. I can bump this up to 300 um, pixel for inch and bring maybe that down to um, 2,400. So we can see that the image size would be actually removed, reduced if we were to do that. So this image is actually pretty good quality, but if it's a bit lower than that, then choosing automatic or preserve detail is fine. That will upscale the image and make the quality better. Or just choose better image to start. But we're going to be happy with this. Um, just to prove point, I'm going to click OK and do the scaling. So we've now got an image of good enough quality to be used in Adobe Arrow. We go to 3D, New Mesh from Layer, mesh preset and then sphere. What this will do is turn our image into a sphere that we can then zoom in and we can turn around. At the moment, that's not quite ready to go. So we've got to do a little bit of work. Over here, we go on sphere material. The picture has been applied to the base color. So we've got to do one of a few things. Firstly, transfer it to the glow. Click on this folder here, and we say sphere material default texture. That throws it onto the glow. Then we can take the glow right up to 100%. Second thing we've got to do is remove the image from the base color. So base color, remove texture. And then secondly to that, change the base color all the way down to black, so pure black. So once again, I've taken the glow, added the texture, which is there, glow at 100%. The base color, I've removed the pit texture, and I've turned the color to 100%. The last thing we've got to do in this section is take the roughness and put that at 100%. That will just remove any kind of glossy glow. That's really nice. The final step before we're ready, go down right here and choose Initiate Light and say, no, turn it off. The reason is that we're gonna put into Aero and Aero will control the light rather than the Photoshop file. And then we're pretty much done. I'm going to go and save this as a file. I'm gonna call it just environment in my file here. That's totally fine. Then go over to Adobe Aero. I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna call it environment, okay. Then insert, little cross icon in the top left. I'm choosing a do um, environment.psd. There's no need to export it to an error format when you're dealing with these spheres. And you'll see that it comes up as a sphere. You can then say this is, um, well, how big do you want to be? Be 20 centimeters. I'm going to make this into a huge, um, let's say, four meter across um, area. That looks a bit weird. Um, that's completely fine. Um, I'm going to live with that and click to zoom out. And there's a sphere. So we can see from the outside is a streetscape. Now, why did I choose a four meter sphere? Well, when it's a four meter sphere, we can step inside it. So I'm now going to share this and bring it up on my phone. To do that, really simple, click share. And it's now going to generate a QR code. It's only about 5.17 meg. So this is going to be a very good um, size image to work with. It'll be very quick to work with on your phone. Let's go and have a look. Here we are. I've scanned the QR code in Adobe Aero and brought up my environment. So I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to choose where to place it. I'm going to try and place it on the floor. So found a horizontal place there. So now... You see just where it fits there. My now bring my phone up. I'm just looking up, down, 
panning around, I'm seeing what is there. Now, obviously, this is located to where I am. I'm spinning on my chair. The uh, sphere is located at the floor where that um, little pucker is. That's where my foot is. It's just spinning around. And I really am having a portal into another world. So I could then take this further Adobe Aero by adding sound effects of street. I could add voiceovers. Um, I can actually add 3D items inside the sphere so I can see things to interact with, um, such as a character or anything. But that is how to create a 360 picture you can step inside within Adobe Aero.